Hello, today I'm going to be routing the Motorola Droid 4 XT894, also known as the Maserati, uh, with SafeRoot. Um, I just recently flashed it with the um, firmware with the RST Lite, um, um, firmware version 18-8, Jelly Bean, um, so it is no longer rooted. Um, you can see here it's stock. Um, Let's see here. Um, we go to settings. We scroll up to about phone. Um, and if you can read that, it's uh, Android version 4.1.2. We have system version 98.72.188.xt894. Verizon USA. Um, we go to our apps. Um, I don't have super user. I don't have safe strap. I got nothing there. Um, so, okay, so we have it. First thing you want to do is you want to download safe root zip. Um, and then you can uh, go ahead and select extract all. Put on the desktop is fine. Um, just extract that, um, and then we're going to have these four fi uh, files, and then you're going to have a folder of more files. Um, close that for a moment. Um, you're going to want to make sure that um, you uh, have installed drivers at some time, Motorola drivers. Um, I'll have a link of that with the video. Um, once you have it installed the drivers, you want to reboot boot the PC, and then um, you want to do that before you connect your your Droid to the uh, to the uh, PC because uh, uh, Windows does not like Motorola Android devices, and it'll install the wrong drivers, and then it's a major pain. Um, so we're going to go to Control Panel. Hardware and Sound, Device Manager. We're just going to verify that the drivers are installed correctly. Um, we're going to go down and um, they should be it doesn't appear to be Installed correctly. Just, uh, yeah, it's just listed as a portable device. So that is oh, um, what we want to do is we want to go to system. Settings and go to about phone and uh, we'll see if uh, developer options is already there. We want to um, enable developer options top of the screen here to on. These settings are intended for development only. Click OK. Then we want to turn on USB debugging. OK. And then um, that is going to change how the computer sees sees it. And you can see on my in device manager that is changed to Motorola Composite ADB and that is exactly what we want to see um, before we root this device. We'll go ahead and close that. Um, we can also um, click unknown sources, but uh, we don't, probably don't have to. Um, OK, 
between security and screen lock there is a, a check mark uh, available option for unknown sources uh, I'm going to check that just to make sure that the, the rooting process goes fine you can uncheck that after you're done rooting um, so we're going to go back out go back to your home screen um, and then we're going to find your safe fruit uh, folder that you've unzipped you don't want to do it um, try to run the program from the zip file you want to just you want to make sure you open the unzipped folder and we have this uh, install that bat and that is the program you want to run do you want to install busybox on your device you want to go ahead and click yes and or y and enter and um, this is going to look for your phone uh, okay it says plug in your phone and press any key to continue so you just press the space bar and um, now it's going to see what kind of uh, phone you have and um, best not to let the uh, phone um, screen close you're going to need to um, it seems to uh, be stuck um, so you can do a couple different things we can um, you just quick disconnect your phone from the USB um, connection and uh, connect it stuck. Close that and uh, try rerunning it. Okay. For some reason it got stuck. Um, closing the program. It has uh, you want to um, either change the, um, the amount of time it takes to uh, close turn the screen off or just occasionally um, touch the screen to keep it from um, shutting off. Uh, sending files, it's starting the root process. Um, you can see here, uh, go back it's a little bit here, um, it did say see it as a Maserati which is a Droid 4 and then it's got the um, the build ID um, and it's got a kernel information um, and it uh, it um, appears to have enabled root, um, and it's going to reboot the um, it's rebooting the phone to make um, to uh, finish installing uh, the files it uh, pushed, and everything's going to connect. Uh, wait until your phone reboots, then unlock it, and then press any key. So you, it's important um, to wait for the phone to fully boot, or else the um, the rooting program, SafeRoot, may try to push files before the phone's ready, and uh, you won't do it correctly. Um, you want to go and lock, unlock the screen, and then uh, press press bar, space bar. Um, Now and then it uh, is pushing. Uh, we want uh, it's asking us to uh, open super user. So we'll see if it's super users in the. Uh, there we go. We got super user. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. Um, now the super user is just asking you if you want to stay uh, um, up to date with developments by Twitter or Google Plus. Um, you can go in click whatever you want here. I'm going to click no thanks. Um, uh, go to settings. Um, just make sure it says enable super user and um, pre-authored. 
uh, reauthentication. Um, and that should be all you need. Um, if it needed to be updated, it would have done so already. Um, so you go ahead and close that, and then we are going to press the space key, um, and it's going to just finish a couple things, I believe. We should get a, a super user um, notification. There we go. We're going to go ahead and grant access to ABD shell. And it's going to, um, it's just finishing up the, the root process. Um, and it's going to possibly say uh, failed. Um, that shouldn't be a big deal. Um, it should, um, should be fine. main thing we're looking for here is super user and, um, and that it has access. Okay, so it says press any key to continue. And that closed the program. That means we're done. Um, so I've got 11, 38, 39 on the uh, counter. 11 minutes and you know, under 12 minutes and uh, not counting downloads. Um, phone should be rooted. Now, I'm going to pause for just a second. Alright, I was going to quick install SafeStrap. Um, I got SafeStrap version 3.72 here. I'm just going to drag it to the um, internal SD card. And um, then we're going to close that. And that should be fine. Um, now we want to go to our, our uh, files manager that comes with um, it's in the all apps um, and we're going to look for device storage oh when we need to uh, need to uh, disable USB um, connection here before we have access to the storage um, you just change it to um, MTP if you want. Um, I'll be fine. All right. After done doing that, we'll go back to our apps folder. Uh, we got Safe Strap here, so go ahead and click Safe Strap. You want to go ahead and select um, install. You have a uh, cancel on the left, install on the right, on the bottom here. Go ahead and click install. Just take a moment to install. And then um, go ahead and select open. And we got a super user notification. You want it to select grant on the bottom right. And there's a warning here uh, how about um, hash code doesn't want to be responsible if it this hurts your device at all. Um, just go ahead and agree. Um, now we want to top uh, select the the top one, which is install recovery. This will just take a moment. And then, we can go ahead and um, select reboot to recovery. I believe we got a few seconds. It'll okay. When we get a screen here, it's going to say safe strap, and you're going to have two options on the bottom: one to enter safe strap, or one to continue boot um, the boot to uh, whichever ROM is selected. Um, I'm going to run out of time. Here we go. It went ahead and, and booted directly to SafeStrap. We have uh, several options here, and I'm out of time. Thank